What's up guys, it's Pete, and this is the classic Epson Colorworks C3500 color label printer. If you've been following our channel for some time, you've probably seen this printer in action. But today, we're going to further explore some of the capabilities of this printer that we haven't quite touched on yet. So, without any further ado, let's get started. The C3500 has lots of features that make it ideal for small to medium label volume applications. It's small form factor, rugged construction, print speed and print quality give it the flexibility that it needs to be implemented in countless IPSI solutions. If there really is a downside to this printer, it's the relatively low label capacity caused by using internal roll media. Now, if you've seen our video featuring the DPR label unwinder and rewinder, you already know one of the ways to combat this. But today, we're going to explore the other way, and that's using fanfold labels fed from the rear of the printer. The first thing we're going to want to do is make sure that our printer is set to recognize rear-fed gap media. Once we've done that, we're going to open this rear panel on the printer. Now, before you load your labels, take note of this plastic piece in the back of the printer. If you've been using internal media, this is probably located right here. Where you want to keep this plastic piece depends on if you're printing from the internal or external feed on the printer. You're going to want to keep it in the opposite location from where you're printing, so I'll show you how to switch that over right now. We're going to take this plastic piece and we're going to insert it right here. I know that's a little hard to see, so let's do that in a close-up. You'll notice that we have these square hooks on the back of the plastic piece, and they're going to go into these slots here and here. So we're gonna put it in and then pull it towards us. It'll snap into position, and then you can close up the front of the printer. Now that the plastic piece is in position, we can come around to the back and using our 2x4 perforated gloss paper fan fold labels, open this back cover, insert the labels until the printer accepts them, and then we can use this blue latch to close the media guides so they fit snugly around the labels. Close that cover back up and you're ready to get printing. Efficiency is the name of the game here, folks, so if you want to switch over to FanFold Media or if you already have FanFold Media and need more, you can always go to www.infinitylabelgroup.com to order yours today. You also have roll media, ink, accessories, and printers, so you can get anything you need to keep your workflow moving efficiently. If you have any questions or comments, go to www.ipsyscan.com and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. This has been Pete. I'll see you next time.